Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today I thought I would dive into one of my bins of random Halloween store purchases. Um, I buy a lot of random things here and there, and usually they get kind of thrown off to the side, and when I have a lull in building stuff out of foam or I want to try something a little different, sometimes I pull from it to act as a base to build off of. For those of you who are maybe uncomfortable with building out of foam or just don't have that skill set just yet and you want to make something super cool but not have to build it completely from scratch, this is a good video for you. Um, so I found this awesome looking helmet skull mask on Amazon, but I didn't really like the paint job. It was very like basic. I think it was intended for like a paintball gun mask or something and it it just it was flat and I saw the detail in it and I thought it had some pretty good potential and then just kind of jumped into other random bins that I had of junk uh, and pulled out a couple of things that I thought I could use to combine with it to make something super cool and because I've been playing Cyberpunk 2077 recently it kind of inspired me to go the Cyberpunk route and make something kind of futuristic looking so that's exactly what we're going to do. Today we are going to build a cyberpunk style mashup of random junk that I bought. Let's get to building. So I started by removing the straps not realizing how they came off. I cut into it to find that they just slipped off of a little tab. I'll put a link to this helmet slash mask that I bought on my Amazon affiliates page down below. If you buy through the link it helps the channel out a little bit and you get exactly what it is that I got. I also went ahead and took out the lenses then roughed up the surface area to get it ready for paint later. I now have a Patreon, so if you would like to get behind the scenes stuff, get sneak peeks of what's coming up, and have a message board and all that other bells and whistles and frills that Patreon offers, definitely go down into the description below and check the link and think about becoming a member. It does directly help me to broaden my material access and make this channel and all the things that I can share better. Sorting through my bins of stuff, most of which I buy during like the after Halloween sales, I found these oversized shotgun shells, which are technically for a Reaper costume from Overwatch. I liked the shape of them and thought I could make cool respirators out of them. So same as the mask, I roughed up the surface for paint and carved a groove on the mask near the cheeks so that it would lay down better. Super glue probably wouldn't hold them very well to the mask and I didn't want a sloppy weld line look with hot glue either so I pulled out some hose clamps, cut out one of the slats, then drilled a hole in the mask to pop it on with rivets. To make sure that it stayed on good and didn't just pull straight through the plastic, I put a washer on the outside, pulled down on the riveter a couple of times, and securely popped the hose clamp into place. Then with my rotary tool, I sanded away some of the metal that was still left sticking up so that it didn't gouge out the respirator plastic pieces when I put them in later.
To add a little extra punk into my cyberpunk style mask, I drilled some holes for screw on metal spikes. I put a link to the kit I found on Amazon on my affiliates page also. Now in some areas of the mask, I did have to sand parts of the inside down so that it could catch the threading on my screws. Just be aware of that. Of course, if it's going to have respirators on it, I need to add tubing and shove some EL wires in it later. So I drilled holes into the plastic shells and then in the teeth area, kind of like it was biting down on it so that I could shove the vinyl tubing through. I snuck up on the size because I wanted it to be a friction fit. That way, in case I wanted to change out the colors later or if the tube starts cracking, I could easily just pull it out. I covered it all with a couple of coats of black spray paint to unify all the surfaces. Then once the primer dried, I went in with some rub and buff to add a dry brushed silver effect on it, which picks up on a couple of the details that you have on the mask. Then I randomly decided on places I wanted to be gold. This color scheme kind of gave me a Terminator vibe, Definitely not where I was going, so on to the next layering. Here's where you can make a lot of these mass produced masks stand out. A lot of them have really cool details on them, but they don't really have very detailed paint schemes to highlight those areas. So I am hand painting some areas with orange, black, and a brighter silver acrylic paint from Plat Effects. They have great coverage and really make all those panels stand out a lot more. Once this is done, I took it outside and sealed it with some spray on varnish. With everything now painted, I wanted to assemble it all before doing the weathering and washes and stuff, so I shoved the respirator into the hose clamps, then the vinyl tubing into it, and then screw on all the metal spikes.
to dirty it up a little bit in much props fashion, of course, I mixed sloppily both black and brown plaid effects with a little bit of a watered down chip brush, spread it all the way across the entire prop, then take a paper towel and wipe the high points off. The paint will settle down into the cracks and corners, giving it that dirty lived in look that I love so much in all my props. I also went over some of the edges with some silver rub and buff to mimic like paint had been scraped off to the bare metal. Here I am shoving the EL wire into the tubes that go into my respirator. I also have a little sticking out in between the teeth just for fun. I buy these EL packs in bulk for super cheap on Amazon. They come with battery packs attached and you simply cut the wire to the length you need. It's an easy way to add electronics without having to have much electronic skills. I could have tinted the lenses with dye or replace them with something else, but I decided to do kind of a simple solution here. I stretched a black sheer fabric over the pre-existing lenses and used the frame to snug it into place. After it was all put together, I kind of thought it would look cooler if maybe I had strung some of the EL wire through the lenses in like an X pattern across the eyes. Ideas for another build. Since I cut one of the straps up while taking it off, I figured I might as well just use one inch elastic banding reinforced with EVA like I typically do. Stretch it across your head to where the mask would meet and cut it to length. Glue on foam tabs on the edges about one inch in and then glue that into the mask, sandwiching the elastic between the mask and the foam. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, I think it turned out pretty decent. Um, the mask itself was already pretty cool. It was just very flat. Didn't have any of the details painted on it. And that's something that you can definitely look for when you're looking for a good base to build off of. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can find something that's already out there and just build on the top of it. Um, and I, I didn't really plan on doing it this way, but uh, who knew that oversized shotgun shells could be used to make little futuristic respirators? Um, I think they look pretty cool and they look fitting for the mask itself. And then just to kind of add some icing on the top of the cake there, uh, I threw in some spikes because it, it looks more fierce. And because it's all made out of plastic and metal and, I mean, it's pretty sturdy, it's, it's legit, so... Yeah. Maybe you will try and make one of these mashup of random things and make something super cool yourselves and keep that social distancing going in 2021. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them much props. I like EL wire. I, I may be a little addicted to it. So, um, headbutt for good old time's sake. <gasps>
thanks to my brother Tyler Hanna for being my first gold tier member patron and to Deborah George and Laura for becoming silver members. It truly does warm my heart. Join me on Patreon to get behind the scenes content and various other perks. Let's grow this channel into a bigger, better, and more creative community. Thank you.